Hello, everybody. Meteorologist Hutch Johnson joining you on this hump day. There is a severe risk tonight in Montana through Saturday all the way into our region and beyond. What to expect in this fast update here on the severe weather risk coming our way, coming up right now. Now, a Hutch's weather update with Chief Meteorologist Hutch Johnson, brought to you by Robert Gibb and Sons. Thanks for watching, thanks for your trust, and thanks to my fine sponsors at Robert Gibbons Sons for being a premium sponsor here at Hutch's Weather. We do have that risk of severe weather tonight from the Storm Prediction Center in the yellow area. That is a level two of five risk. All modes of severe weather will be possible. You see the big Fort Peck Reservoir in the mix there as we go in just a little bit closer to show you other communities in this risk. Glasgow all the way down toward Lewistown Roundup and also out towards Harlow Town and as far west as close to Haber in this risk area. Again, large hail, damaging straight line wind and an isolated tornado cannot be ruled out. Now, as we head into day two, things get very interesting in our neck of the woods. Let's show you where this shifts. Oh yes, it's west as Hutch has been saying. And now a level two risk, exactly what I was talking about the last couple of days, starting out west, making its way north and east. If you're in Manitoba too, strong and windy thunderstorms with isolated tornadoes, not out of the question. There's all risks of severe weather involved with this. The best chance of tornadoes I can highlight here graphically for you and show you that the tornado probability is higher as we go through. This is a look at hail. High probability of hail here from Minot, Dickinson, and into Bismarck with a tailing off risk for the largest of the hail heading into the Devil's Lake Basin as I was discussing. I'm sorry, here's a look at that tornado risk area where storms first form in western North Dakota. Minot, Williston, down to Dickinson, even into parts of northeast South Dakota, North West South Dakota, I should say, that's where the risk will be the best for those tornadoes in the early onset. If these storms do indeed fire as they go through the remainder of the nighttime hours as they drift north and east, they'll car carry with them a greater risk of nighttime wind gusts that could be strong as well. There is in the yellow area 15% chance of a wind event from within 25 miles of any point that you see there in yellow. By the way, that brown is a 5% risk area, so a lower risk in our Southern Valley counties. That is a look there. And as you take a look at Hutch's seven day planner over the last couple of days, I've been saying, since the weekend, Thursday and Friday, a chance of strong to severe storms in the afternoon. Tonight out in Montana, by the way, we'll see that chance as temperatures kiss that 90 degree mark each and every day. Friday brings the Valley and Minnesota's best chance of widespread showers, thunderstorms that will be a chance of severe and all modes of severe weather possible on your 4th of July here. That risk shifts east into Minnesota and Wisconsin as we go into Saturday. I'll keep you updated on that. You're watching Hutch's Weather. You can get the latest anytime, anywhere on Hutch'sWeather.com. Hutch'sWeather.com, one-stop shopping for all your weather needs, including my latest videos, forecasts. Hey, visit and do business with my fine sponsors. They make Hutch'sWeather.com and Hutch's Weather a possibility. For now, have a good evening. I'll be back with a more detailed forecast for the next 24 hours right here on Hutch's Weather and Hutch'sWeather.com.